Hello, everybody, and we're starting this series where when we talk about Portia Williams, we had to get on down with the small purple bus, okay? Because she's in the back. She's hard of hearing and comprehending. So, that's pretty much this is going to be her cute little bus that we're going to be talking about her because we can't ride the train anymore. We can't do the plane because she done lost her job or gave up her job for, on this nation. You know, same thing with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, she's pretty much almost destitute so since she's a little slow and she can't keep up the pace like the other women on the real housewives of atlanta we have to bring out the little cute purple bus because purple to her is royalty and she feels she's royalty she's the queen this that and the third but girl portia williams i hear through the grapevine girl on these youtube streets that you were trying to get back with the real housewives of atlanta cast honey baby and they told you no 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 it was a unanimous vote beside one person want to give you the, another try Child, everybody even the new people came and didn't want her back and i still consider drew sador and new but honey baby marlo drew candy <coughs> sheree sandra they did not want to have Portia back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. No, they didn't, girls. Girls and guys, they did not want her back. And I was like, damn, Candy didn't want her back? And far as it's being kept quiet and loud, so I'm going to speak it out. Honey, watch my next video on Candy Burris. Check it out because somebody want to take her job, okay? And it's true, T from what the youtube streets are saying and other social media platforms but check out the other video that's gonna drop fairly soon about candy so that's just a, a, a real preview there but we're getting back here to slow as portia okay i ain't want to use the yellow bus the short yellow bus because you know we talking about disabled children and portia's not disabled in any shape form or fashion but she's slow she's slow on how to keep up with the current events it seems like she's always behind so we chose the royalty to be purple and those are like grown folks but they acting like kids in a sense and portia riding that bus and all her uh fans are fanatics that's trying to push her to do all these things give all her money away to a man that's her boyfriend not her husband and you know she's just liquidating her wealth into this man and he hadn't shown and proved that he got her fully because if he did he would have been very well uh <clears throat> placed on her show where they were showing portia family matters he would have been standing up and showing out for his bride to be he just sitting in the cut just laughing her like we was you know and then she even said on the show that he was embarrassing her on social media because he was putting out stuff that was embarrassing to her and she has to go and explain it or not explain it but you know accept the backlash and you know she tried to talk to her mama about it and she said well yeah you need to have that conversation with simon because he don't need to be posting stuff especially if y'all talked about it and he still posted it so what did that tell you he don't give a shit about what portion then when he tried to she tried to explain it to him later on after her birthday party or during her birthday party he was like i don't give a fuck about social media and all this kind of shit so he's basically saying he didn't give a shit about you, Portia. But your coast uh stars don't give a, sh a shit about you either. <laughs> Sheree don't want you back. Candy don't want you back. Sanya don't want you back. <laughs> Damn so <laughs> Candy don't want you back, baby. Y'all could have been friends. She could have been teaching you a lot. And Sanya, she's fairly new and she don't want you back, Portia. I don't even think y'all met each other in real time. Okay, definitely not on the show. But girl, and I thought you and Drew was cool. But, no, Drew don't want you on the show either anymore. But it was one person. And I'm surprised at Marlo. But I guess she wants to shine and be on her. She ain't got time for you to come in and take any of her light, her cameras, her action from her. So, we're just going to let her slide from now on. But Marlo better be showing and proving. And she's going to be on the chopping block as well. Okay? After receiving just one season of being a peach holder. But, like I said, Candace not really fond of her anymore. She don't hate her. But she don't like her either. So I guess she's in between. But you would never guess who was the only solo dolo person that wanted Portia to come back. And was going to hold happy 
after after arms with her. Okay, y'all see her? You see the queen twirl, twirl, twirl in the house, twirl, twirl in the house. Can your more hair care? Can your more hair care? Yes, honey. Who would have thought that the mastermind behind twirl, which is Kenya Moore, would have wanted Portia Williams, Portia, 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 Portia Williams back, okay? She was the only queen on that show of queens that said she did not have a problem with Portia coming back. Now, Sheree, I don't even know why you even voiced your opinion, because you know you here by a thin thread, girl, a thin thread. But, yeah, it seems like that opportunity has passed you by as well, Portia. And I don't know why you dressed up in all that Gucci. And it's like you should have had mixed it because it's just like red, red, red. It's like, ugh. But, anyway. Yeah, Kenya Moore has stood up to you. Well, stood up for you with the rest of the girls and with the Bravo exits. Saying, allegedly, that she wanted you back. Go figure. Your arch nemesis wanted you to get your six-figure salary back. But, I'm sure... In Kenya's mind, she was going to bring the drama on you. But you needed it. You deserved it. And you have to play the game. So, it would have been the wise of the wits. Or the wits of the wise between you and Kenya. Who was going to fare. Who was going to show out. Who was going to dominate. And all that jazz. Okay. But, yes. Now, I would have thought it would have been maybe Sanya or Marlo. Singing your praises to bring you back. Even Sheree. But no, 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 no. They all said no, 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 no. But can you say yes, 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 yes? Let her get her check, 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 check. So baby girl can continue to eat. Maybe she was just thinking about being a mother and her knowing how it is to be a single mom out there, this, that, and the third. And caring for your only child. She wanted Portia's child to eat. Okay, and eat well. So she didn't have a problem. She don't see Portia as a threat. She don't see any of them as a threat. So I was like, girl, girl Portia girl, you need to be thanking Kenya for wanting to put that thought in the executive producer's mind that she would not have a problem with bringing you back on the show. She opens, she welcomes the challenge but it seems like mm, they still debating on what they want to do with you because you are a hot commodity but it's all for bad reviews you know what i'm saying you could bring the drama you just don't know how to keep your hands to yourself we try to roll you around in the best type of automobile we can find for you which is the purple bus because you like purple you like royalty you want to be tweeted treated like a queen so we had to do some quick fast thinking in a hurry fix to find out what kind of uh, uh, transportation we were going to have for you and that was the best we could come up with since you're throwing all of your money away uh down the drain to be with a man who is just your boyfriend and i'm like girl i don't care what your followers your fanatics your your um peer groups say about you they just, I don't understand, I really don't understand them who support you and the actions that you're taking in social media by spending all your money on a man. Can you didn't do that? She can don't even do that. I mean, she keeps receipts. And she already told Todd if he step out of line one time, that's it. That's all. She'll go find somebody else. He can be replaceable. Like Beyonce say, irreplaceable. Don't think you are because you can't be replaced. Okay. So... I think you could learn a lot from Kenya, especially with how to create the right aesthetics, the right, the right optics of when you're being filmed and uh, being uh, photographed in public and what to say and what not to say. If you can push your pride aside, you could learn a lot from Miss USA. Okay, not Miss America, but Miss USA. And then along with trutting down, we, you know, I want to use this bus for you as transportation. But I said, no, the purple bus will fit her really well. Okay? It's like the, uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The big yellow, nope, the big purple bus go round and round, round the world you rode for Portia. Okay? Yes, we had to treat you like a baby. We have to have baby gloves for you because you're not listening. You're not listening to adult conversation. You're not listening 
uh, to me as far as me trying to give you constructive criticism. So you just really need to go to the Zeus Next work. The Zeus Next work can definitely handle you and your uh, character traits. Okay? Because Bravo cannot do it without having liability brought on them in some form, shape, or fashion. Okay? You have something that you can bring to the table, which is drama. But... We don't like the hands-on interpretation you try to give us when you want to give us that drama. It's going to cost us more than it's going to have us continue to have you on payroll, baby girl. Okay? But girl, I just want to let you know, honey. Times have changed with Kenya Moore. Okay? Ken ain't forgot shit, though. She ain't forgot about that dungeon mess. And she's going to always keep a side eye on your behind. She'll treat you nice in public. She, she might say some good things uh, in, in private about you. But you'll never, you'll never get back in her good graces to be able to tell her business. Because she just know how you are. You paid the right money. You get upset. You just go run in your mouth. Alright? And we don't need that. But that's all I pretty much have for this video, guys. I never thought I would see the light of day that Kenya would take up for Portia Williams. Okay, y'all remember that history? It wasn't that too long ago. <laughs> okay. But you can see who's matured and who hasn't matured. Who is acting like a boss out there and who is acting like a fool out there. Okay. I'm just saying, yes, Aunt Bertha, this is a little bit too much for me. So I am going to continue to tell Portia to get a YouTube channel. Get that extra um, revenue stream going. You have the following. You have people that support you. No matter how stupid you look out here in public. No matter how gullible you may be to a man. Candy definitely can tell you how to set up your YouTube channel. And get millions of followers. Okay. Because she's almost at that uh, million dollar mark as well. As far as membership. Well not membership. But you know you're subscribing to her channel. And you have to do number upload a few here and there. These two women can teach you a lot. If you just open up your eyes. Keep your mouth shut. And listen to them Portia. And they can tell you how to become very successful. And very well um, solidified with your bank accounts. Okay. Because these two women got it going on girl. You just need to stop being so prideful. Open up your mind. Open your life up for opportunity and stop looking for a man to support you wholeheartedly you don't need a man's bank account okay it's nice to have a companion it's nice to have a husband but if that person dies or no longer wants you and don't see you in their life anymore and they want to discard you you can't throw away lucrative jobs like you had with this nation. Like you had with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They were paying you well. That's how you end up getting your house you had baby girl. I mean you don't need too much to be on reality TV. You just got to give them what they want. And that's empty crazy foolish drama. That degrades and dehumanizes you. And if you want to stay in that type of limelight. At least get the money for it. And have them wanting to keep you by you being a hot commodity for the right reasons. You see what I'm saying? So you can learn a lot from Kenya Moore, Hair Care, and Candy Burris. Okay? Money Tree. You can definitely learn from those two women. But that's all I got for this video, guys. If you like it, love it. Gotta have more. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, like, and share my videos. And definitely get down in those comments and dialogue about subjects topic or topic subject that we're we're discussing at the time okay and that's all it is plenty laughter just banter we're just having a conversation and we'll be talking about something else before the night's over with okay but <laughs> Portia needs a, a true wake-up call she cannot and should not depend on one person's income and definitely a man taking care of her and she feels she, that she has to make them take care of her. No. You just need to sit there, be pretty, mind your P's and Q's, have your own businesses. So when she go left, you don't have to be left out in the cold. You've already been taken care of. Because you've been that boss chick. You are that boss chick. 
that type of mentality Portia is what we're looking for you and hopefully you can gather and get it together and be that boss chick but that's just my opinion and you know you can take that with a grain of salt all right but that's all i got and i'll see y'all next video bye, -bye.